I don't get why YouTube has to recommend this stuff to me. I don't even play Pokemon that much. This is yet another Pokemon channel made by some nerdy looking snow bunny white chick, as some black folks would say. I believe she works at Twitch. If that is the case then I'm not surprised, because I heard Twitch is run by snowflakes, and that is a reason I don't spend a lot of time on Twitch, because I can't stand some bitch snowflake trying to tell me what to do. I decided to leave a comment on one of her videos, while also calling her baby. Hey baby. I assumed I was gonna get blocked as soon as I would post this, and that's exactly what happened. So that's really everything you need to know, this is just another snowflake that loves to click the hide user from channel button if you say something in particular that they don't wanna hear. And I know what some people would say. They might say, why are you calling girls online baby, that's creepy, or whatever. Well, I don't give a shit if it is weird or whatever else you might say. One of the reasons I call them baby is to see their reaction to it, and if their reaction is a block, then chances are that they are picky whiny bitches, so it's no wonder they don't have a boyfriend. I'm sure I'm gonna get some bitch disliking the video, and maybe someone white knighting for this nerdy chick. Well, my only question about that is, why are you defending some female if you're not getting anything from her? And then I would say, here's your block by the way, cause white knighting for a person you never met in real life is not allowed here. If you don't like me calling her a nerd, then tell her to stop being lazy and find other ways to improve her vision. Oh, but I guess that will never ever happen, because she might block you if you do that. Who cares? There's plenty of other nerdy snow bunny chicks online talking about Pokemon. It's no wonder she doesn't have more subs, because she's not doing anything that hasn't been done online already. And no, I don't really believe she does it just for fun, because most of her videos are clearly monetized. Even her where have I been video that I commented on, was seemingly monetized. Sorry but what a greedy bitch. The clout chasing is even more obvious when you notice she kinda uses that title parenthetical author thing. In case you don't know, putting the name of what the video is about, and then put something in parentheses, and then put your username, those are all pro optimization features. That is a reason why you might see this often on the videos of these YouTubers. Let me give you an example. Another person I know of that uses this tactic is Mike Matt High. You can clearly see he uses this tactic almost 100%. By the way no, I don't hate Mike, in fact, his content is honestly way more entertaining than the content of most of these e-chicks combined. Hell, his girlfriend is probably more entertaining as well in comparison to most of these e-girls that you might find without even bothering to search for them. I certainly didn't bother to look for this chick, because when I wanna watch videos, I'm not thinking in watching some boring weeaboo chick that is obsessed with Pokemon, and that I can't even fuck. The only reason I'm making this video is because if these people won't let me have a voice on their channels, then I'll say what I want on my own channel. And if you don't like it, then you are more than welcome to leave and never come back.